like you to open your Bible to Proverbs chapter 6. Because I'm going to be sharing with you on accomplishing purpose, part 4. Accomplishing purpose, part 4. And the focus is diligence. Diligence. You know, we have been talking about how purpose. I spoke to you about the impact of vision. You need to understand vision. What is the plan of God for your life? What is God thinking about you? Because God has a thought towards you. He said, I know the thought that I think towards you. Thoughts of peace, not of evil. To give you an expected end. So God has a plan for your life. There's a reason why you are female. There's a reason why you are male. There's a reason why God have allowed you to go through all the experiences you have gone through in life. They were all meant to prepare you for something. That is a uh, vision. I also s- spoke to you about walking in singleness of mind. I spoke to you about the fact that you should have a specific thing, just one. Don't be a jack of all trade. Don't be jumping from one thing to another. Today you are a businessman, tomorrow you are a politician, another day you are this, and you're just trying, doing trial by error all over the place. And then I told you last week. What? What did I tell you last week? Oh, there are some of us who came. I thought I spoke to myself last week. I told you to take action on that vision. That thing God has been speaking to you all this while. Take the first step and move forward. Take the first step. Ojo to ba ti gbe gbe se akoko ojo yen lo ti bere si ni serere because beginning is half done today like i said i'm speaking about diligence which is so crucial to the fulfillment of your destiny let me read the scripture if uh, proverbs chapter 6 look at it from verse 4 Have you found the place? He said, Give no sleep to your eyes, nor slumber to your eyelids. Deliver yourself like a gazelle from the hand of the hunter, and like a bird from the hand of the fowler. Hello? Are you reading with me? I will read those two verses again. He said, Give no sleep to your eyes, nor slumber to your eyelids. <laughs> Don't let sleep take over your life. Oti 
kan to mu mi lole eh tori to ba wole lo ba tori nu lon lo sun si ba wo nu shop lo ba enikan le ma wu e lokan o ni mo ri boda yen sare wole ma ko ti e ba mi jare e ku kale o enu ona mo duro si o mo fe raja o hello o da ma lo ngba yen o ra to pada mo de mo wo mi mo lo ra nkan ti mo fe ra nbo mi nibi ta won ti wa week o ni gba ra e lowo ohun bi agbonrin ti owo ode ti ba o mo npa yen toro yi sode holy holy mo o lo ko de o ko de kekere kan ti mi lo ngba ti mo kere oketi la nle kire iho oketi la man desa e kire awa ka kan mo ko na njo kan won wa dano si won ti mo pe iho yen oni bi to ti wole oni bi to ti jade won ti mo awon yen won mo no e dada so won ti mo pe o wa nbi wa dano si lenu won ti mo pe pe keji lo ma gba lo won ma dano si won ko kini si to ma fi ma se fi fi ya bo ninu bi to sapa mo si so our force lati tu jade olomo de fe mu yin ejo lo ma jade me so won ti wa lo duro de ni egbekeji awon yen mo npa o se yen dada sori ma to ma jade kuru bayi ru e ni boda yen jam to no ma pata ko ah oni awon ile yo de ni won o ke te ba ki eje ya ko njo mi so kini mo ntra kalati so nigba to wo ode ba ti ba eran ton to ti ri ko wo ti ba un gugu agbara e lo ma fi pare sile lati le survive eh ikure oni gbara e lowo iku ti orun gbe wa ba e sleep is meant to kill you is a younger brother of death He will kill your destiny. Eh? Timba jinjo mi bai. Ada be ni pe aye fe collapse. Eh? Oh, iru jiji wo moji bai. I need at least five more hours to sleep. Ada be ni pe kin diju pa da kin deso. Chukwa ma wano ti pe. O nun to fe kin sonye. O nun no man kofun a wanta ba ti ku. Mani ma sun o lu fe. Ko si ma si mi ori le aya olugbala re ma haru ma haru afe o tu gwa Jesus fe o ju sure 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 ori yelo ma wa si mi le mi timba ti jive ye tori mi lagbo mani ah ma son lu fe jare di de le. We are still here on that. Oni ko barae, lo wo uno. Don't let slumber destroy your destiny. That's what that scripture is saying. Let me finish it. Go to verse six now. Go to the ant, you slugger. Consider us and be wise. Which having no captain, overseer or ruler. Provides her supplies in the summer and gathers her food in the harvest. How long will you slumber, O sluggard? When will you rise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall your poverty come on you like a prowler. And your need, like an armed man. Shuriya saye, lo kramwe. To ba de le kramwe lo ma kalo do jumo. Read it every day, at least for one month. That scripture, it will change something about your life. It will change something about your outlook to life. Anyhow, let me begin my message. 
I was just trying to introduce that scripture to you. Today I want to share with you about the power of diligence in accomplishing destiny. I know that the fact that you have a vision does not indicate that you would accomplish it. There are so many people who have received vision and never got it. They never got it done. It takes diligence as one of the many things. Diligence. It takes diligence to accomplish destiny. It's not only diligence you need, but you need diligence. Now, what is diligence? Diligence is hard work in relevant assignments towards the fulfillment of purpose. Let me take that again because of my interpreter so that he will slowly get it across to us in Yoruba. Diligence is hard work in relevant assignments towards the fulfillment of your purpose. Now, in most situations, or maybe I should say it this way, every human being is busy doing something or another. There is nobody who is not hardworking. Everybody is busy doing something. But what will position you in the class of the diligence is how relevant your labor is to your vision or to your purpose in life. Everybody is busy. You can be busy sleeping. You can be busy snoring. Some people can snore in this place. And the people going on the other end of the road will be hearing. Is that not hard work? And he, by the time he wakes up in the morning, he has labor so hard. Diligent in snoring. But that doesn't make you an achiever. Now let, bring, let me bring it closer to what we're talking about. I had a classmate when I was in secondary school who was very good in knowing names. Names. Names of sportsmen across the world. Just pick any subject in sport or game randomly and ask him, you can ask him who is the world tennis champion. He will tell you is the forty four Busi, the forty Busi. He will give you the name. You don't know the name. Go and Google it. The name will come out. He will be so surprised. He will get it accurately. There is no sport, no game. You ask him, he will tell you the names involved there. Pick any 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 team, whether soccer team or full, uh, the lawn tennis team or basketball team, Nigeria team. Ask him who the players are. He will give you the name of the, all of them, one after the other. He just be giving you. The, he he had this 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 brain that's like a computer. He just gives you those information. But he was not one of the excellent students in our class. He was just an average student. He, he would remember he, his brain, his time was focused on things that have nothing to do with his destiny. What am I trying to communicate to you? You don't qualify to be called diligent unless what you are putting your labor upon has reference to your destiny. Look at home movies now. Some of us are experts in watching them. You know what they call Pomulero? Eh? Mainframe. I want you to know film called Omo. I don't list the film called Pomulero to say. Because 
Eye se be kan wa nbi kan. Erin lakata bu kan wa nbi kan. Gbogbo oruko film won ma ka fun eni kokan. Awon to ma nsa baba won sere a ma ka fun eni kokan. Tori kini he is an expert in that. He can spend 20 hours in 24 hours watching film. Orun oni kan to ba nwo film. Ha? Orun oni kan to ba nwo film. Ṣugbọ te ba fun ni se gidi kan to ni se pelu ayan mo aye e pe ko se eh omo birin nu leti won to bi en so fun pe ko fo fo bo ko fo so ko gbale se ko ni se pelu ayan mo aye e ko mo yen se e mistake le so fun ko lo fi yo si rice ori nle ni oran ba yin le ye jo ye e je yo ati yin ti yin afeta Sugar te ba soro ko mu lero o mo gbogbo film won Will he be rated as a diligent person? No. Some of us have expertise in settling quarrels. Tomatic kenin lekeji o ti debe. Some of those quarrels will take you just about 3 hours. My no la mo ye. Some will take you a whole day and then you arrive and you're a cabo. Chet, you're a jewel. I know God. 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 You don't. It doesn't make you that you are spending all your time settling quarrels. Or some of us have so many friends, and our friends are always doing one thing or another, and that makes you jump in around every time. Ile in shebade wasare lo. Ti yen ba tun so mo loruko wa tun sare lo. Yen n se gbe yawo o gbodo lo duro ti fose kan. You jump around like that. Ton ba bi e wa ni ah, ti o ba ba won se ta lo ma be se ti e. Which is reasonable. Is it not? But that doesn't make you diligent because it doesn't promote your destiny. So what am I trying to say? Diligence is putting all your efforts into relevant activities that will promote your assignment in life. Putting your activity there. We are called Sarek Badrake Kereko. Ulu ama gen shashe danu mo. Pa o ma she ma ro joni e gbe titi four hours. Ma she ma pari jaka. Koma de mwa ye mi te siwa ju. Lati o ni lò Mi o shashe da no mò Bo bo shè ti Ba shè lò mama mori jad Badura yè, badura yè fè Ni o lò kori re ni ki yè ma shè shè Kò ma jere shè re Ni o shashe da no mò Teach me to focus my labor on my business Rami lò wò la ti lè for you read me, I bara me see no share me. Let me focus my my labor on things that are relevant to my destiny. Give me grace to do it. Shaliba hedi kasi da ba. Jesu, Oluwawa. Like you, I just came at this. Why? Number number one. Let me list a few things that will help you. That will help you to understand what I'm talking about. Number one. Identify the relevant activities that would accomplish your destiny and purpose. You already know your vision. I assume. Because we have spoken so much about that. 
I'm not going to spend all the time speaking about your vision. I want to believe you already know your vision. Now, you need to identify the relevant activities that will accomplish that vision. For instance, if you are a student, as a student, you must identify what you need to apportion your time into on campus. What should you be spending your time upon? As a student in the university, for instance, class attendance, personal studies, class attendance, personal studies, for you as a child of God, religious activities, social life, and so on. If you are a student on a campus, I've mentioned four different things that must be important to you. I spoke about class attendance. Do you know that if you don't attend class, how many, what's the percentage? 75% attendance throughout the, the term or the semester, you, you are not even going to pass that year. They, they, you won't even do exam. They will disqualify you. So class attendance is not a joke. It's your relevant assignment on campus. But going and listening to lecture is not all that you need. You need personal studies. So you need to create time to do personal studies as a student. I discover that if a lecturer gives you a, a lecture now and you allow it to lapse for one week before you read it, you won't understand it. So you definitely must sit with that lecture or that note within the first few days that it was given. In fact, preferably that same day so that you can understand what the lecturer said. So personal study is so important. And then, for you as a child of God, you need God. So you need religious activities on campus. And then number four, you are a social creature. You need social relationship on campus. For Mary. Now, out of these four, there is an order of importance. Some are more important than the other. You see the way I order them? Class attendance personal studies, religious studies, and then social life. That's the order I think it should go. So, you need to order your activity in that sense. This is not a pastor meeting, so let me not talk about as a pastor. As a business person, what are the important things to do to you as a business person? You need to source fund to do your business. You need to source your market. You need to arrange and manage your staff. You need to ensure that there are no leeches leeching on your income. You must give attention to where your income is, is coming from or where you kept your income. Block every waste and ensure that your proceeds are secure. Now, these are some of the responsibilities of a business person. But when you look at them, there are some that are more important than the other. You need to be able to prioritize them and look at the ones that you must give all your attention to. In fact, there are some of them that you can even delegate to some other people to do for you. So the first thing about diligence is identify the relevant activities that will accomplish your destiny. On campus, for instance, students don't order their system very well. 
You see, some of them spend all their time on social life. They won't go to class. They won't read. They do all social meetings all over the place. Social meeting. Alpha Beta is doing something. The club is doing something. They go there. They do party. Some of them want to put a money at this store. I'm going to go to this store. I want to tell them what they law. They never face their academics. Soon, exam will come. You need to visit the university during the exam period. And visit their health center. Ojo <laughs> Only to think Babo, look at that today. Only to think Rojo Caton go film, Caton Saris to Calato Joy. I want to call myself, but Saro Jara is a Amueba is a Uri Awama Buno John Awama collapse. That's not right. Identify the relevant activities and focus yourself for them. Number two. Prioritize. I said it. Not every activity is equal in importance. Some are more important than the others. Now you must be able to identify the ladder of importance. And give more attention to the items that you consider more important. It is a for you so ko fi se lori yen eh ko fi se lori itori ko se pataki julo won yen there are some activities that are so important you must focus your attention there that's my number 2 points number first the first point is identify your activities try to discover them list them out be sure you know all that you are supposed to do. And then number two, prioritize them so that you know the one that you need to give attention to. And then number three, do it. There's no better way to say it. Labor is sweet. Hard work is the doorway to success. And you must give attention to your work. Give attention to your work. Let me break that down a little bit. Number three. A. Avoid distractions. Many years ago, I helped a church member, a lady, to get a job in a company. But after the first month, she was sacked. They just paid us the first month's salary and said, don't come back. And she came and told me that they said she shouldn't come back again. I said, ah, Kilo she, oh she koko. What happened? Nothing. <laughs> what did they say happened? He said they didn't say anything. They just said, don't come back. I said, ah, there must be something. So I called up the director. It is a common me. I work on left back. I work in the left back system. Ah, only job more be nigh. Money be nigh, sir. Ah, only nigh only share she. Ah, money fair she share. But yet you are complaining for me. But you need to come out more. Ah. Only pastor, only to watch you like Bassi Chevrolet, you know, as I care. Moniki Loshi, no. Only Lati Joa, Cocotto to worry Zoom. Who that was to be sherry. 
o ma mo re da ni wa ni won jo de enikan lo wa ri zoom o awon meji ni won de awon de fi se tu ba ma se han o ya lo se le wa ohun atore ya je lo o ba wa lo fi se ejo na ma ro ma je se nko n pacha in office me o wa si se won ni ko jale ati e bu le gbe se gbe si bo wo fun to fi fe ja lo le sugbon a ni di iru won bo n bi se mu ore dani imi nu wa ki se ko ma mu dani a wa ki eni a je o debe ago mejo le ri zoom wa debe la go mejo ba da go mejo san ore ede e ki se o mo ni ki wa ki eni a bere si dojo iwo ato ore tata go mejo san aro e ri jo da go meji la mo n bo je ki n sare lo se kini kan o tu ti pada de la go meji o fe distraction loruko en je di scheme o pe distraction distraction another guy who was a member of the church was also working in a company and the boss called me up and said look here i will sack this man i don't need him again when he show jale ni you know he doesn't see He doesn't steal. He doesn't fight. So why are you sacking him? He said, "I don't need him." The guy got to job, located one room that is not being used in the company. Identify the key of the room, and he will just go and lock himself there and be praying. The boss was a Christian too. He said, "I don't need a prayer warrior." <laughs> If I need a prayer warrior, I know who to go and meet. When I argue a little bit, I get pastor only no pastor a lot basi church. He said church. He said church. No le she ko ma join yi ko ma badura. I need the room be. I need human beings, not not prayer warriors. So distractions. All those things are distractions. To ba fe sise ko je dodon joko le e to ba fe sise enikan lo ma ma san wo osu fun e o ni nkan to gba e fun ise ijoba le yan ti ma se rubbish gbogbo be won yan o not private job somebody is paying you government job e le so pe awon baba yin tin san tax la to jo yen e fe gbe to yin okay ta won ga yin ba ti fun yin laye ke ma gba be ma gba lo o ga yi gba e sise o fe ko sise fohun o ma ma san wo fun e pa wa ma lo akoko e lati fi telephone ma lo akoko e lati ma ping lati ma text ise ton gbe fun e o ra ye se some tables you get there there's a file you are supposed to treat he's been there for a whole month you are pinging texting that's not how to work avoid distractions 3b don't be lazy don't be lazy even god hates lazy people some years back a, a young man met me I, i went to pray in ileyan as i parked my vehicle and i was trying to pray this young man just came Ah daddy e je ma binu pe mo disturb ni mo ri pe n gba dura ni e jo sa mo fe sare ri yin ni sa sha son to fe so ko je n gba do e jo sa e o fe wa ma da ko ni bi ni ori pe igbo igbo po laye ka yin bi to ba n da ko sibe e kini kon mo de wo pe we are be your mommy no ni okay ki lo fe gbe sibe o lo ma fi o fe gbe gba do all right ba o ni to ni je to o ni to ba se to na ni o le o le da ko gan ma da gbo e lo to mo ko wo pe to ba de gbe gbado si be looto igbo o ni poju ma de ma cha ya adura mo sha ti copy ti mo ti fe gba adura o ya ma gbe looto ko para de be the following month o ti clear le lo kia kia o ti gbe gbado si gbo e ah 
Emu temi na odan do. A te je gbadu lodun yo. At least bo te se rira. A je. Ba ma re te o. A gbadu ba dide nle. A ti gbo won jo ndagbapo. Baba Oloko a ri lojo kan soso. Gbogbo osu meta ti agbadu yen fi dagba. Bobo yen o yoju rararara. O ko de njo kan wa kore agbadu. Ah, won o le lu. Awon alai ni No. O se mu lo fe o to o lo gbe o to guro lo fa. O de di opo o gbe nu soke. O da o. 3C. Don't relax until you get what you want. Initially when I used to sell akara, the first few days that I sold akara, there was no profit, profit ke. Kilenje profit. The first day to lot akara, to shakara be 200 naira. I remember all those prices there. I think it was about 200 naira akara. I think it was 50 kobo. I said, what is 50 kobo? Something is happening. What is more? So much as shakara, I am back below. What is more? Ta, koto one over ten. I am not sure. Oti ekpo, asho ti ekpo, njo yon ti mi omoyi. Tu ra mwen yon tra ekpe akara. Okoni, eja teste. Iba tu dojo ki ji mwen o teste emo. Ama ton ni di e lo kuton ra. So the first day, I sold about 10%. The second day, I sold about 3%. If you know business, you know that bese ni mwen so ye bese. The first day, ti o to emo yorita ye. Mwen je dele mwen kwe, ama la du go me mwen kwen fun wwan. You know what no SO could today to the Ti mba tu kwe fa wwe nyon yi. Kwe kwe mi. Mwa mama. Dadula ki ya karami mata. So mwa lo danu ni. Ni joye. Ara o. Ara mi o lele. Mwa. 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 Mi o de lo son. Mi o pada se nyi. Bwa mwa. Mwa o lo ron cha. O lo wa. Ki ni ma se se. I was not relaxing. Because my I have not achieved the comfort I wanted. I kept on crying to God. And then God was showing me places I could go. Places I could go. I discovered that there was a permanent site of the university. I went to their temporary site. I saw that there were too many people selling food to them there. So they don't need a car. I went to the permanent site. The first thing I noticed was that it was so difficult to assess the permanent site. So difficult. A new market we sell there. I struggled and got there. There was not one soul selling food. They just had some butteries where they sell bread and say, ah, I say, ayemire. Kinto she fine a carabai, want a rakula kinito. Kinto she fine a carabai, like a want a rakajito. I want to draw the akara. I want to draw akara. I want to draw the akara. I want to draw the akara. I want to draw the akara. Say, I want to draw the akara. 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 Business, so don't relax until you get to where you are going. 
which means that you may meet challenges you may meet difficulties but you don't relax you just keep on doing it just keep on doing it keep on asking god for wisdom keep on asking questions when i was looking for a place to go i discovered there was another polytechnic in, in that city and that one also had a permanent site so i went there also D, still on number three, three D. Start early and stay with it until it is done. Start early, early. My schedule as a businessman was: I wake up four a.m. My staff will resume in my house at 5 a.m. Because they had to prepare the beans and fry the akara. They prepare the beans, go grind it, and fry the akara for me. And I supervise them. So for, if they are coming to resume in my house at 5, I have to get up 4. I had an alarm. I bought an alarm for that purpose. And I will set it 4 a.m. because I know I can't wake up 4 a.m. by myself. This alarm is a type that will not stop ringing until uh, it exhausts its power. Like a man, a man whining. Like a man. You know that kind of, I don't know if you know that kind of alarm. Some of us, we know it. You whine it and whine it and whine it and whine it and then you put it there. The moment it begins to make noise, it will not stop. <laughs> and you know, the first few, the first few days, I put it beside my bed. When it is ring, I hit it back. Keep quiet, because there's a lever there. You beat it like this, the thing will stop ringing. And I won't even know I did that. I will just do it in my sleep. So my system was, I would set the alarm and I would go and put it a distance away. So when I when the thing is making noise and it wakes me up, I would definitely have to get to it before I can switch it off. By the time I get to it, I know the reason why I should wake up. I will get up. 4 a.m. every day. One day I didn't wake up. My staff came at 5. They bang and bang and bang. Boda, boda, boda. I didn't wake up. I just woke up at 12 noon. I wasn't married then. I wasn't married then. 12 noon, I woke up. I said, hey, come on, Lord, and, and then I look at the time. I said, ah, this should be rapture. Something must have happened. <laughs> hey. So start early. That's what I'm trying to say. I discovered that the polytechnic was there. So in the morning, I would take my Akara to the university. We produce, we start production, finish production for like 10, 9, 10. And then I take it to the university and sell. And when I finish selling that, I come home. My staff will resume for afternoon work at 2 o'clock. I will have arrived at 2. So we start the afternoon production. And we do it till like 4 o'clock. Is smaller than the one for the money. So by four o'clock, when they finish, they are going home. I'm going to sell. I go to the polytechnic. Most days I don't come back until 12 midnight. That was the schedule I kept for the whole of that year. 4 a.m. to 12 midnight. Oh yes, I had result for my labor. then one more e three e don't hand over to others i remember a few times my production staff messed up the schedule by failing to show up they won't just show up 
and then you are held to a ransom what are you going to do the first time they didn't show up like that i couldn't do anything i didn't know how to fry a car i didn't know how to do anything i couldn't even start the fire and they didn't show up i was just angry and fighting with myself but there was nothing i could do no production that day I said no it will not happen again so the following day when they came and they were saying so so next time they cannot hold me to ransom later I began to employ people to sell my car for me but even when I employed them I still sold my own and I made sure I sold much more than what they said oh yes the customers know me the, the field is mine the business is mine the grace is mine whatever they are doing is just in addition to what I'm doing I sold more than 10 times what they are best, the best of the boys we sell on a daily basis hard work don't let people hold you to ransom I don't understand how you call yourself a business person and it is your staff that is doing everything you can't do anything by yourself. You are just you are just there. I want you know I want only business. On to we want no my shape to business. So my point number three was do it, do the work. God wants to bless the work of your hand, not the work of your staff. God wants to bless the work of your hands, not your snoring. Get up and walk. machine God wants to bless the work of your hands. I shouldn't say that. Let me go to number four. Improve your skill. I'm talking about diligence. What is diligence? There are so many things I could talk about on diligence. But these are the things God led me to speak about this particular one. I'm sure some of you have listened to me speak on diligence before. If you compare that one to this one, it will be different. But this is the thing. These are the things God wants me to talk about to you now. And number four, I said, improve your skill. There are better ways of doing what you do. 
That's why it will be great if you will discover ways of doing the job in better ways. For instance, you can get better equipment that will make your job easier. There are equipments that will make your job easier. Oh yeah, they may be expensive. Oh. Somebody was going to take photographs. I met, well, we were in the U.S. He was going to take photographs. And he brought out his camera. That's my camera. I'm going to take a 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 camera. camera <laughs> Five hundred thousand dollars lens, just the lens. Five hundred thousand dollars. Mufe yewo ni ema yewo. Don't move near this. Don't no 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 no. Don't don't even look at it. Yeah, I'm for work on. I'm for I told you it's five hundred thousand dollars. I bought it. Don't touch it. So Jebi. $500,000. Okay, now. Oh, I'm feeling homie. Don't buffet ya, she's a tone full of. Push him a set there. We ya, she's a shame full. We ya. Huh? So, my way, Shenny, eh? Shenny. But we look back. Some, some things you need to spend more to. Acquire more in that skill. Better equipment. Now, there, but there are some equipments that you carry in your hands, you don't even know how to use them. You need to study to know how to use some of those equipment. Because the same equipment, time when Lomi back be, I get learn. So what do you do? Go and learn more. There are things I get to grow in a bit of drosila now. A lot of things since I'm man who work in the lorry gugu, but lorry gugu who are very keen to move she look in one list they just define. Eh? What to make come move move here battery? Who want to battery? Keep it move she who do it? Who see battery no who do? Battery when you come to share a motor car, I just saw the one can look way more to you. Came me drive where on my water, on Tom Bibo, came why I came by the only beaver. The Bible no motto Momuko Corodani. We start motto one walk, you cannot start in beaver. You know, start in beaver. Move, wow, 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 one S class like this. Now you buy. You got two so many mobile phone. Hello, bro. What were you? But not in start here. Ha! Only for that lot of jotted in one more to at least that starts more to chat. So, what to say was of me pay and yes, I tell bots in your bony bots in your bony bots in your good out. Along on a lower. You can ask. There are things you don't know. Ask and acquire more knowledge in your job. Now, if you are the boss of your job, experience and zeal will make you better than your subordinates.
you have to be better than them ibe ba ko won agba lowo e to ba start car wash ta won customer ba de ton ba ba e se lo ye kini won ma dupa won bo gambe abi mo puro ni to ba start restaurant ta won customer ba de ton ba ba e lo ye kini won ma dun ni pe awon ba oga to ri pe ise n to da no ma ri gba de jo e but do you know that some of us till any come iya o mi fe serun ni jo kan mo gbe lo speaker ko pe o ti lohun olomo o wo ka ma lo le ki lo sele eni to oga wa nbe sugbe ni to le serun o sin le oga wa oga to ni le se wa sugbe ni to le serun nu awon omo ko sin le ko lo de ni se ki lo an se nu se when I was selling a car, I never stopped selling. Oh. My zeal sold my car. My commitment sold my car. If that time one more time, not a job, they don't mind any kind of raja. Eko jo, eko jo, eko jo. I'm never troubled by their failure because I know I will succeed where they fail. Timba, timba, karaba, timba, wooste. Fine, aka tin ba se bai ma ma da mi loni ninu yara awon ma ma jade ni fine aka fine aka fine aka call it anointing i call it grace the stubborn ones still fe jade by the time tin ba da oyin bobu me lo kan kale ma wa wo en to ndo fantastic aka special aka e bu la lari wo yi ki lo so and then there are some of them who love it. Timati bere bai. I want na wa ma pe ti won. Ti ba se fine akara wa so kan. Kini kan akara won ti mo mo ti mo kon fe gbo gesi ni. So emi na ma wa ma ba won fa, a jo ma fa lo. Extra terrestrial akara, extra delicious akara. Ba wa di ti bo wa jade wa ye, this akara I must stop. I must stop akara. Ki a won ti ra to. Improve your skill. That's what I just said. Your job. Improve your skill on it. You can make it better. yato. pass Traffic warden. You see them on the road doing the same thing. I can say, oh my boy, you're not casting any boy on me, okay? But this one, on my toe, my shirt, yeah. Lani titi, on your toe, 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 on it will amaze you how you will excel in what you are doing. So that's point number four. Let's go to number five. So that I won't take too much time today. Number five. Hard wisdom to diligence. Wisdom to diligence. Aye, but you won't take care. Tell me about what you shop me. Don't buy my bar. Me too. No injun. I carry my magic. Go go somewhere. I carry the gari. That's my food. People come to buy a car. They meet me eating the same car. Ah ah. Why you buy? Am I bad? No, I carry my ah. Only the best I carry that. The best food you can eat. He was on town, je. He was looking, je. Where he was on my jail. You must patronize yourself. Add wisdom. Is that not the point I'm looking at? Add wisdom to diligence. You need to 
let people know that you appreciate what you are doing. That what you are doing is good. Patronize yourself. Let people meet you and say, Ah, you any designer as you a mini designer. You market yourself. That's wisdom. We want on tau ku malo ma koko je o. Malo pe mo ti so pe ka ma patronize ara wa. Okay o. Ni o sin be o. Now sometimes you need more than what you normally do. Particularly in times of crisis. Particularly in times of crisis. You need special wisdom to be added to your diligence. Sometimes you need to receive heavenly wisdom to go beyond your com- competitors. There are other people doing the same business like you. Go to God, ask Him. That's why you have the Holy Spirit. There's nothing the Holy Spirit does not teach us to do. He taught, he taught uh, Joseph how to preserve food in Egypt. He taught uh, Jacob how to m- mate animals such that they give birth. You can decide the children they will have. So he can teach you how to do your business also. Ask him. And then sometimes the devil will throw spanner into your business. He will throw cranker in your way. And before you know what is happening, everything can scatter. So as soon as you see the hand of the devil, what do you do? You need wisdom from heaven. Ask for wisdom. And it will amaze you how God will make you scale over the devil's work. When I was a student in the university, I used to sell cow meat. Cow meat. Like every week or two weeks, I would normally slaughter a cow. I had some of my lecturers who buy from me. I had some of university staff, other people in the city who buy beef from me. So I would slaughter it every week, every other week. And then within the uh, students' uh, hostels, I had, I had staff who sell in their rooms. I would normally put uh, frozen meat in coolers and put in some rooms in the hostels. Every major hostel, student hostel, I had my agents there. I called them agents who sell beef for me and they they make profit also you know students they need money themselves so i i give it to them they pay they they they, they i pay them 10 percent i pay 10 percent on the man's of money mine she was one of them so and i will announce i do i think i did a flyer so people know that in room so so and so you can buy your beef so every time as soon as i slaughter a cow i'll put the i will slice the things put them inside the cooler i mean put them inside the freezer they will be frozen and then we put it in the cooler so it can stay with them for like two days or so within two days they have bought everything so i always buy at that time i would do like two cows regularly now there was once i can't remember whether it was the first time or sometimes yeah I bought the cows. I slaughtered them. The one that was meant to go to the people having didn't have any problem. I did, distributed those ones. The one that was meant to go into the freezer, I put them in the freezer. By the time I came back from Ibadan, where I went to buy it, the Nepal had cut light. So I just put everything in the cooler. I, I trusted that light would come. And I went to do my lectures. When I came back from lecture, Light has not come. I said, Ah, you know, okay, to see our light not today. Our la, who part a day again, you know, my day. Ha, you know, Shelley, it's annoying. 
Titi ro le a ti de. O fi le si be mo pada lo se lecture. Igba ti ma de ni ro le, ina o ma de. Mo lo si freezer e wo bai. Orun gbese ni mo gbo. Gbese run jade. Eh! Gbese. Oluwa o, my mom was you know she was the owner of the freezer. So she she didn't even know what to say to me, whether to be consoling me or to be encouraging me or to she say ah I don't know, I say, you know, you had day or something. I just walk away from her and went to stay in one room. As I entered that room, I said, eh, eh, so Ulua, a Wulu Yahweh knew me at a nearby. And the Kogodo Yahweh. Because being cautioned, Loy, Ulua, and the Kogodo Yahweh. Onto need in a kilo yako she, ah, okay, Ulua, kini kin show. And then the Lord said, go and fright and sell. Pray that light will come. Let me tell you something. A week later, in not today, there was a massive problem that they had. The devil really threw the cranker. He was a real cranker. He will have finished my business. But the Lord said, Fright and sell. So my first problem was sell. How do I sell? The Lord said, that's not number one. I said, fright. That's where you start from. Go and fry first. So I quickly came out of the room and I met my mom. Everybody went to my dinner. One of the people get the people who will fry it. I need to fry it in the next two hours. And of course, my mom is an expert in all of that. She knows how to get who. She got everybody together and they started frying. Two hours, they have fried the first set. By the time they finish frying, I'm now like, okay, Lord, they have finished frying. So, where do I sell this? I thought God would say, there's one book area somewhere that needs the meat. Go and deliver to them. The Lord said, Wa kosikulani, wa wama lose, I won't stay. I'm attacking and I'm like a whole cow in Kula. How easy would that be? The Lord said, It's not how easy, it's how I bless your effort. I said, Okay, let's start. Moshe Bekula, Coconia, Moyasi University, Moshe Bomo, and Uluma Remo Lua. Guess who's there? I want a man saying, Jay. Today is a t- is a Wednesday. Only my sin change your Wednesday. <laughs> oh, Lua, where do I go? One is Shama Law. See, uh, not with PG. PG is there. Okay, I went there. Got to the first room. I want you on bar. One, one, she bought. I begin on time. On time, you some five boys on time. Buy fried meat. When it, when it, eh? Can you answer, you know? <laughs> Buy fried meat. Fried meat. Ah, fried meat. I met it. I'm not a no Hey, what did you say? I said, buy fried meat. Ah, are you serious? I'm serious. Come, 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 come. Let's see. I'm not a no joke or tequila, my guy. You know those round coolers? Tell me, to be put on here. That's the first one. One joke out by. One jet on. Ha! One year on the. Hey! Hey! What a joke. What a moon cock. What a jet. What a jet. If you can't count it. You can't count it. You got one jet on. One coat on. Money. Oh, you buy any. What a. What a. Side your line. I don't want to kill you. Where was he? <laughs> Within a period of three hours, I had sold a whole cow in three hours. Divine blessing came upon the wisdom that heaven gave to me. So what I'm trying to say is this. When challenges like that come up, Pray, ask 
ask him for wisdom and whatever wisdom he gives to you do it every wisdom of God will demand hard work from you let me go to number 6 now don't give attention to gossips or comments whether positive or negative comments don't give attention to what people say most times work is done publicly people will see you they see you as you labor I want to come out to you and say, I want to share with 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 you and say, Why? No, I wouldn't. I want to share with you and say, I want to share with you and say, I want to share with you and say, she wants to buy the Milan and the maybe occasion be really late. Why is my Yasa Bada with the damn? She won't buy my shay. Eh? I shot to buy shay and money my war. People will see you. Some people, when they are live on it, they are in ordinary pants. But one ballet don't belly. But what war, what war, what bada? I won't go cut out, won't be a little caracua cut by that war. Now people will see you. Some of them will begin to make just derogatory remarks about you. You better deafen your hairs to them. You ignore them. It is on serious people who listens to comments of people about their, their work. Some of them will make positive comments about you even. But some will consider your labor as silly. She ya alone she. Mama da won lo. Mama da won lo. Don't listen to people. Let me go back to my Akara. You know, Akara is a derogatory kind of job. People will look at you, they say, but that's Akara. You know, there's a way they say it, and it is derogatory. You don't get there, you don't get. I'm a lion, 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 I'm a lion. Hey, fine, <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank God. We are going to go back around. We are joy alive. We are going to go back around. Even though they are going to go back around. Hey, my mom. Hey, Kara. I want to go back around. 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 Some will say good thing about what you are doing also. My business became very profitable, very good. That people start fighting me to every business. People will come and meet me and say, Ah, please, you are too good for this Akara. Come and do my business. I pay you. And I'm like, No, I don't need your job. I got civil service job. I refused it. I refused all kinds of jobs. Some people started business. They needed, you know, they had money, but they couldn't run the business. They even came and negotiated with me. They said, we know you can stop your business. But what we are asking you is just give two hours to run our own business. And we will share profit 50-50. I want to invest to work. I want to set up everything. 
Temi ni kweki shakun wa lo two hours. Any two hours during the day. Just two hours. They said they know that if I put two hours into their business, the business will do well. And that's true. Because I'm a blessed man. But I said no. I know what God asked me to do. I was too single-minded to focus on the one God gave to me. So what I'm, what, what I'm saying is this. Focus on your own. Don't give attention to what people say. Why they can't distract say? Why they can't be a crow no view not a long way from I want more gay. I do go make by it. But I'm going to go to the one I'm here. I want to me. I want to me. I me. We lost our first pregnancy. So I want to be to be I to don't 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 get distracted. But I can't leave me Mama supervises, no mama make comments, no mama will jock it. But I can't just show one. I go back to them. I'm a sorrow. I'm a bummy. Only mama call me be my decision. Position, I don't need any. Only let me come. I could leave one on it. I don't need any. Bush, my supervisor, one is titted at my daddy lonely. Supervisor, okay. King John, I Number seven. So I so You just do your work. Don't let people distract you. Just do your work. It will amaze you what tomorrow will bring. Number seven, confront all challenges. Challenges that come against your work, confront them. That's part of diligence. You must confront them. All on this software, when you go to the machine, what if you know, then I want to go to one dinner, one book with you. I could you want to you just money because diligence does not imply that everything will be easy. That doesn't mean it will always be working for you. But like a river, you will always look for a way to go forward. Shomobo mi shemanche, to mi ban shonlo, to ba debi ko to ba ba pata pade kilo mache, apada seyi. Yeah, I want to know so no be a jamma boda lo. So bo mishima she niye. Oh my wow no ni, I wow no. To ba de ti pe to tin gba beyen, a tun la ona si bi ko. Even igba mi e ri omi o ma la ona sarin apata yen. Igba to ba pe to tin wa, to tin tori bo to gba, to gba, to gba. Apata bere si ni ye fun. Okuta ma ye fun. Oni Yoruba shima so pe omi wo yanrin gererere. Omi o lapa, omi o lese. If you want to know something that is consistent in life, water, river, is consistent. It keeps going. It keeps going. It keeps going. Until there is an open door for it. 
You will face challenges. You will confront them. You keep on hitting. You keep on hitting until he opens up for you. Muroti bati mo koko tolo ngoko ni kiloma takara ni permanent site university. Ha. Timo de challenge challenge ni bitat man wo kolo si tanke at the permanent site ngai ni lorin. Mo de challenge by te ba ri eru nbo ni gbogbo awon eyan ni lo won ni permanent site. Ah. Moto nko moto bi meta lo n gberu lo. Just about 3 won o je ki commercial vehicle wole anyhow just a few vehicles just about 3 of them ero to de fe lore won le ni 500 so why you are waiting oko to gbero ton to ra ye wonu e a lo a pada de a to wa gbero mi and here was i with four i mean big coolers of a car I want to enter bus. I want money with the way we may look on, not put any. I want to offer Wally. That was the first confrontation, the first challenge I had. Be my shame, war, I want more to it. My deck where me. And I have to be asking God for wisdom. Boss come, ball or come on you, Lua, Mugodo Babosi, or want to do Bafe Balo. Monikini, my shame, money were full more, Koto Duro. To Bati, what Duro? Bawa gba oju window wole Oluwa n ko mi bi ma se wo boss Ko ko le lo da boss duro fun mi ko ni wa wole won ko mi won ni wa fo mo ko to duro So ngba to tin di fo mo yen mo ti mo pe ki nko ko ko eru mi pa mo nu mo wa lo wa ida iya ko to n taja legbebe iya e wo e ko ko ba mi toju eru yi mo nbo wa gbe nsin Boss yen se yo lokan Even no more. Go to the perfect gyro by Costa. The moti bema, moti honey oju window. Ah, madam. I will roti ra ye sokale moti wale oju window. Moti balance. I will toku kon wale wa ba mi. Okay now, driver. Eru me wa me yon. Oh ra ye ro a egbele yi. Say man, don't just fire a car. Egg be you. Ah, Buddha. Is that the egg be? Well, we must show you a lenu. But the carob ton, we love park still. We carry the same way. There is nothing free, but you will confront the challenge. You will confront it. You confront it. Bold salo lo ni bo. Wa confront is no ngo ba debe. Snow, very low one is. He come by me, sir, and your con, glory phone. Una, I could snow you, money will low month snow to you. Oh, Ruloba, one bio. A coating in a wayama by you long. Professor Lolo, you bo, or a go my bo, or bolo waya. Go see your date, you see challenges. That's what I'm telling you. You must confront them. More confident, Mr. Example for any the kind of challenge you are going to face in your job may be different. I'm only giving you these ones that I have experienced. I'm showing you that God would give you wisdom how to get out of them. She or your cockatoo cock back at a debe one rat on caca or your car on Tima to back at a debe by. I'm a potter to show no dim. Ogbeni kama ngbia karaba. When you fire karaba, when you come to me by him, you are under arrest for selling a car without permission. When she be me how many? What you move to office one? What you miss the guard room? They have guard room in their office there. At me at a karami. What you come come work where or about me lonely? You come back to me or dictate or come one more karaje? What you move where? Aha. I'm not calling Baba. Business in yes, partly. What is your issue? Oh, need some work, Kara. Why come and arrest me, Jakara? So every time that was another issue that came up, and they troubled me so much. They disturbed me so much. I 
been a student, I know what happens on campus. I know how it runs. So I prayed, Lord, what am I supposed to do? Allah ni lo student affairs director. Kolok ba license lazima takarambe. Iye tunko. And I walked. We went to the place. I think I got somebody to go with me, a lecturer. We went there together. And the man was so shocked. He said, Are you serious? You're selling a cara? I said, Yes. What type of a cara? Deep fry or. Oh. Munja <laughs> karago. Munja karago. Ah. To bat in takara. I mean, no mama je. Oh, God, go one be, go one pot, I go one tongue. And to ba one sister. I don't saw. You better party go go discussion tongue. Baba, you You talk, you speak English. Yes, I read English. You read what? In English, you must call university. You mean you went to university in Nigeria here? Muni Ben. Ibo Muni Lefe. Ah, that is my alma mater. <laughs> no, you are not going to sell Akara. I am employing you today as a staff in this university. I don't need this, sir. I don't need that job. Akara, 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 Akara. Only Nigerian that by to your Lord. Nigerian that's I just need a place to sell my car. I will not tongue by here. Let's go. Je mumi dani niye. Pache wano oste. Ah, okay. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Hey, get it on. Only on mommy reo. On mommy reo. Oto bo 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 you know, there are plenty of hostels there. He just took me to the back of the hostel before, just before you reach the canteen, canteen. There's a canteen there. He just gave me a place. Only she be my da for him. Oluda, Oluda konsa. Only she size one. Only book boy. My dear Karalo. My dear Karalo. Whatever size you want, just build what you like there. But make it temporary share so that the university will not query you. Hold on. You must follow one rule of character. You must do not learn it. Challenge me. I don't want to do it for me. You know, share me. I cried to God, and God gave me victory. Confront all challenges. He will come, but you need to confront them. Let me tell you one last story. So after my business started stabilizing, I decided to have some kiosks. What do you call them? Sheds. Or Akara joints. I call them Akara joints. And I saw a place in what where they call the, the post office, general post office. There's a very good place there in front of the post office that I could build a fire car joint. And there was a government agency that was giving the place out to people. I applied and they gave me a place. And I built a shed, beautiful shed. Now, I had money so I could build a beautiful shed now. Very beautiful, very lovely. With the mind that we will start next week Monday. I needed to go to Lagos to do some things with my in-law and came back. I mean, I come back to do my business. So I went to Lagos. We came back. The bus, the vehicle that brought me from Lagos had to drop me in that post office. I was shared me. Kilo what you walk Ah, 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 and they revoke 
all the allocations and give everybody seven days quick notice. Remove your shed or we will destroy it. Only a few of us didn't get to know. I want no wool shed. I want no wool yon yon. What a wool be. And a lot of money went away. But that didn't stop me. It is the lazy man who, who said there is a lion on the street and hide himself. Check it up with every man who has been successful in life. They met challenges and they overcame them. So my challenge to you today is be diligent. Labor with your hand. Don't allow the challenge to stop you. Don't allow the difficulty to stop you. Remember the scripture we read earlier on. Particularly verse 9 and 10. I mean 9 to 10. Or 11. Even. Deliver yourself from the hands of sleep. Don't let poverty destroy you. Drop it. The Lord will help you. The Lord will help you. Rise up on your feet. first prayer I receive grace to focus my labor on my business I want to be delivered from busy body the spirit of busy body give me deliverance from the spirit of busy body let me be able to focus on my own can you pray that prayer? Give me grace for diligence on my labor. Can you pray that prayer? Ask for grace. O so le la ye. You are, everybody is laboring. The issue is what are you laboring upon? Gamila was busy about the spirits. I'm a team of our Lord. I'm a rojokiri. I'm a jagagi. I'm a jagagi. Oluwa gba mi lowo e tabi ko gba lowo mi Jesus Oluwa wa The second prayer you are going to pray help me to disconnect from every form of distractions 
every form of distractions in my life that is taking me away from my destiny that is taking my attention from my glory give me disconnection from them can you pray that prayer grace to disconnect pray pray help me to disconnect from everything that is causing distraction in my life Give me victory over distraction. I don't want distraction any longer. Elumino here to be low work on my gag on. Oh, go to be done in the lava where ye should want distraction with your she she. distraction disconnects me from them every form of distraction hey Only when you or a boyfriend you get bad distraction. Phone you get bad distraction. All work bad distraction lower me. In Jesus' name we pray. And the third prayer, which is the last one. You now receive grace for diligence in the name of Jesus. Ori of fear. Shuri ni kwa koni no aye mi. Tumwa taban soro no le wabai. Wan no was me wan ni ole ni benga. Tumwa kwa ole ni benga. Igwa tumwa wan le wigi ka. Amo ore mi no taban jon soro wan ni a ole luni wo. Ole ni mi ni kwa nye. Shugong ba tumwa de no Christi. No pere fun ori of fear diligence. Loni, we re gong le kwe mi lole. Sorry mi oke insho le. In fact, the way it's moving, she share gong man wonder ni kwe a. I walk like, a oga kwanzi mo ba she share ngba kong. Only you walk like a tiger. Ma afe so fukwe mi ori tiger, di shukwa mo mo kwe, I walk. I walk like I'm going to die. Keep on walking until I finish what I need to do. I go to Tomo Lolly. Who go to Timothy Shem me close? There's no closing time. My job finishes. The only thing is I don't go before five. Sometimes I leave five a.m. to go to come back eight a.m. To repay me with Paris, you to take Paris Shenge. What path? Be the fool you offer. When you want to offer anything, oh, she, she, let it go. You are lazy. People say you are lazy. They have said the truth about you. But you can receive grace for diligence from God. Can you pray for grace? Ask for grace for diligence. Give me grace to be diligent in my work. The Bible says, See thou a man who is diligent in his ways. He will not stand before me, man. He will stand before kings. for diligence give me grace for diligence Lord give it to me give it to me give it to me